Side Notes is a great little app for the Mac, a note-taking app that lives at the side of your desktop, hence the name. And I'm going to tell you all about it in this video. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec. And today I'm going to continue with the theme of uh, choosing apps to review that are part of the Set App Bundle. Uh, and this is one of those ones where I don't actually use it for anywhere near its full capabilities. And it just has a specific niche uh, use case for me. Uh, it scratches a little itch, as it were. And that is one of the beauties of Set App. And what is Set App? Well, it is a bundle of over 200 apps that you can get access to for one monthly subscription of $9.99. And from once you download the Set App app and put that on your Mac, you've basically then got a little mini app store where you can go and look at all of the different apps that there are available uh, and simply download them from within Set App. And then if you want to uninstall them, you can also do that from within there. So uh, it's really great way of getting access to lots of great little utility apps. Uh, and the beauty of it is that if there are some apps where you maybe don't even need their full features, or maybe you just need them occasionally, where you perhaps wouldn't necessarily go and buy the app itself. Uh, but it does mean that you can just download load them because you've got them as part of your subscription uh, and use them as you wish and that is the case with side notes because side notes if i come back out of here for a moment is this little application that lives in the uh, side of your desktop uh, in fact let me just come over to this window <laughs> that might be a bit better uh, and here you can see if i just click on this little hotkey then out pops this thing where you can keep your notes now I do not use this to keep notes in. <laughs> I don't. I have my own uh, <laughs> copyright Alec Johnson text system, <laughs> text file system. So everything that I do is basically stored in text files, and then I have different ways of accessing them. Actually, I use NV Alt, which is uh, uh, Brett Terpstra's application for uh, basically managing text files and creating text files and things like that. So that is actually what I use for my main text file system. Um, I also, uh, for my task management, I use an application called OmniFocus, which is based on David Allen's Getting Things Done system of task management. I'll be doing videos about all of these in due course as well. Uh, so what exactly do I use this for? Because it does do text, uh, it does do <laughs> notes rather, and it also does tasks. Um, but like I say, I don't use it for that but I will show you all of the features of it because it may be something that you uh, would prefer to use <laughs> and I know people do but what I use it for is basically a little holding bay <laughs> to throw little snippets of text and things like that at uh, where I need a little bit more organization than say a uh, <laughs> I'm naming a whole load of other different workflows in this video, so I don't want to overcomplicate it. But I also sometimes use uh, Keyboard Maestro to collect little snippets and then manage my clipboards that way. But this is for basically if I'm working on something and I want to collect my thoughts and little snippets of text and things like that visually, then this is a great way to do it. So uh, with all of that out of the way, let me just show you it in action, as it were, and then you'll be able to have a better understanding of what it is. So. As I've said, this little tray pops out from the side uh, and uh, I'm just setting it all up on my Mac Mini at the moment. So it's completely empty and it starts with nothing. <laughs> and then up here, we can click on this little plus icon and we can create a folder. So we can create folders of tasks. I'm just going to call this folder one for the moment, but we could have more than one folder. Folder two, <laughs> if I can type properly. There we go. Uh, so we can uh, reorganize them and things like that. So now we've got a couple of little folders in this little tray that pops out. Uh, and now I can go into one of those folders uh, and then it comes up. So we can see the root folder that I am in up at the top. And now if I click the plus sign, it is going to create a new text note. There are keyboard shortcuts for all of this. So I'll uh, come on to those in a moment. But now basically we've got an area where we can add uh, text or images. So this is a note. And this is a task. Whoops, I really can't sp spell. <laughs> this is a, another task. So what you can do is you can just highlight some things here. And if I go down to the little uh, uh, text box at the bottom, then I could change that to be a to-do item. And there you can see now we have got uh, little check boxes. So if you were going through the day and you had a series of tasks that you wanted to do, it's a great way to just capture those. I can say I use OmniFocus, but I can see how somebody who doesn't use a full-blown task manager, this would be a great way to just uh, capture some little tasks and to-dos and things like that. I should also point out it will sync across uh, devices using iCloud Sync as well. So uh, if you have got multiple Macs and things like that, it will copy across to those as well. 
You have got obviously all the standard text uh, formatting like making things bold, italic headers and so on. Uh, now the other thing that you can do is you can also create code blocks as well. So uh, that's another way that I do use this is for little code snippets and things like that. Uh, I also use text expander to uh, for, for text snippets that I'm using all of the time then that they would be just stored in text expander. But this is for sort of short term ad hoc little snippets of code or text that I'm going to need. Then I would just drop those into here. Uh, the other thing is it is actually fully uh, compatible or, or understands uh, Markdown. So if you don't know what Markdown is, it's basically a uh, system that allows you to add formatting to text just by typing characters. So for example, if I type the uh, pound sign or the hash sign, whichever uh, way you want to say it, uh, that basically is now going to create a header. Uh, if I want to add quote text, then a little arrow will add uh, quote text. And you can do italics, underlines, all these sorts of things but just by simply adding the uh, the little characters before them. And so Markdown is is used often in, uh, well, like writing if writing blogs and things like that. In fact, it was developed by uh, John Gruber from DaringFireball.net, a uh, famous Apple blogger, and he designed it to basically speed up his writing workflow because obviously you can see that without, you don't have to actually type out or fix any um, uh manually set any formatting you can just do it all as in the flow of your typing so that is the point of markdown uh, if you know markdown you'll know what it's for <laughs> and it's just to know that it is available in here uh, and if you don't know what markdown is then it may be something you want to look at and i'll probably make a video about it at some point in the future as well <laughs> but for now i'll move swiftly on <laughs> you can also do other things with notes in fact let's start another note shall we so now we've got another note uh and so now you can just you can see how these are basically separated. They just look like individual panels with these little notes. Uh, you can also where you've got this little arrow at the bottom so you can move it into another folder or you could actually share it or send it somewhere. So if I click on that little share tab, then this is the beauty of it. You can just copy the text. So if I've been building up a whole series of little text snippets and things like that, uh, you may want to check out the video that I've just done on Text Sniper as well, which was uh, released yesterday. Uh, that is all about OCR and image capture, uh, capturing text from images. So this pairs quite nicely with that because you can use that to capture different uh, parts of different uh, text snippets, drop them into something like this. And then when you've got everything formulated in here, then you can just simply click the little uh, share arrow and either copy the whole text or copy the note uh, or just send it all to a different application. And you've got obviously all of the Apple's built in sharing functionality in this little share sheet thing here. There's also some settings so you can basically change it from either standard markdown format which is the default or you can change it into plain text or code and I should mention by the way when I said it can do code basically that's just going to use a mono spaced uh, font and have a few other different formatting changes as well. But you can also color the notes as well so if you want to uh, change the colors of individual notes you can do that. Um, so as I say it is just quite a nice little thing and it gets straight out of the way when you don't need it. So I'm not suggesting that you use this for your full-blown notes, notes management, although in theory you could, <laughs> and you could also use it for your tasks as well, but it is just nice to have it uh, there at the side. Now, if I come into some of the preferences for it, if I go back up to my, uh, my main folder, uh, so there's a few different options that we've got with it, which are basically here. So we've got the general, the arrangement either on the left side or the right side. Next is the show or hide bar. So there is actually, if I uh, just come to another quick view, slightly more zoomed out. I'll just move that one out of the way. I don't know if you can see down here. In fact, you should be able to. There we go. There is a little sort of bar at the side. So you can change how the uh, window actually opens. So if I click on that bar, you can see it's sort of folded away, but the bar is still there. I'm only showing you the top quarter of my screen, by the way. So this is actually positioned sort of halfway down the, uh, the screen. So you can have it so that you actually move over and highlight the bar and click on the bar to activate it. Uh, the other option is that you can have it as a hot side, as it were, I suppose similar to a hot corner on the Mac, which is where you just move your mouse over to the side and it pops out. Or you can have it as a uh, activated from the menu bar. So there is a menu bar item up there. So you can have it so that that is the way that it is activated. Um, you can also, uh, if you've got one of these two options selected, then you can also choose whether you want to even see it in the menu bar, bar or not. Uh, now, I turn off these because I don't like having the little bar there or the little hot side, and I obviously prefer to do things by keyboard shortcuts. And there are there is a keyboard shortcut which happens to be Command Option 
shift, no, command, option, control, sorry, <laughs> space. And that one, you can just sort of basically toggle it in and out. So that is the way that I would do it. Uh, the next thing is you've got uh, basically hide notes on click in empty space. So that is basically if I'm in one of these folders, uh, then you can have it so that it's at the moment, nothing is happening if I'm clicking on the screen or clicking outside of the app. But you can just have it so that if you click in empty space between the uh, notes, then it will disappear. Uh, or if you click on the outside of the app like that, it will disappear. Uh, and you've also got um, hide when mouse is inactive. So uh, if I put this one back on, then it should, once I come out again, it should just disappear. <laughs> For a few seconds. Well, it's not quite doing that, is it? It says open bar will disappear when the mouse is inactive for a few seconds, but it doesn't appear to be working. <laughs> I'm wondering why that is. Never mind. I'll move swiftly on. <laughs> I'll move swiftly on from that. Uh, it's obviously operator error. Usually these things are. <laughs> so I just do it with the uh, shortcuts anyway. And then uh, launch on a computer startup as well, if you like. So I'm going to toggle those off because I always just use keyboard shortcuts for everything anyway. So then the uh, next one is creating notes. So the default format, as I mentioned, is either plain text, code or markdown. So uh, you can choose which one you want as the default. But obviously, like I showed you, you can change that as well. Uh, current um, new, uh, sorry, create new note. So the options are here. Basically, either it's going to put a new note above the previous one, below the previous one, or always come at the top or always come at the bottom. So that's what those are. It's just the position. So if I put always at the top, in fact, let me do something different, always at the bottom, and you can see it's just put a new note at the bottom. If I put it uh, always at the top, then the next note will come at the top. That is as simple as that. Default color is none, but you can just choose a specific color that you want it to have. Uh, the next thing is create notes for notes using global shortcut. So basically, if I go and type, uh, want to type a new note, there is a shortcut, which is command alt option N <laughs> or command, sorry, control alt command N. Uh, that is a new note. You see, it's just popped a new note up there, but you can also ask it to say if a no folder is open. So if I come back out of this folder and then press the same thing again, then it's just popped up a little notification here asking me which folder I want to put the note in. So you can have it to ask automatically uh, or just never ask. So that's uh, up to us. And if I put never, then it will ask me to select the default folder basically that I want it to uh, to go into. Uh, so the next one is create new folders uh, over selected folders. So this is the same thing as these uh, uh, these ones up here, basically. It's still saying whether the new folder is going to come either above the current folder, below, at the bottom, or at the top. As simple as that. Next on appearance is uh, whether it's going to be light or dark, and or whether it's going to be selected based on the uh, system preferences. You've also got a different uh, look and feel to the panel as well. Let me just come back to my uh, slightly zoomed in scene, maybe a bit easier for you to see. Uh, so you've got dark blue, sort of graphite, the graphite gray uh, or retro. So these are basically the styles you've got. Uh, there is also get more themes online. I've not actually tried that because I just stick with the uh, standard ones, but you may want to add some more color or things like that. Uh, and then you've also got the difference between note colors and the background uh, and then also file link widths, uh, sorry, file links. So either full width or compact. So that is when you've actually got links to specific files in there, how they are going to appear. Uh, next with the text, basic text formatting, things like that, the uh, type of uh, font. So this is uh, where I've mentioned about the code. Then you have a different font for that specifically. So a fixed uh, width font, uh, Menlo. That's usually my default anyway, to be honest. That's always quite a nice font. Change the font size, line height, things like that. Uh, spell checking, either on or off. Uh, Remove indents, remove new lines and things like that when you're pasting text in. So depending on whether you want to have formatting included. So I actually take those off because I do tend to want to keep it if I've copied it that way. Uh, next is shortcuts. So these are the shortcuts that I mentioned. Command, <laughs> control, option, command, space. It's a bit of a mouthful this is. I always uh, trip over with that. Uh, or create new note is command, uh, control, option, N. <laughs> but you can also... Uh, new note from pasteboard so you can actually create a new note from whatever you've got uh, copied uh, the next is search so you can just search your notes so they can have a, a shortcut for that to just search through your uh, the notes that you've got 
uh, pin app window that's going to pin the this window to the uh, to the side uh, and then also you've got a few other things for shortcuts for basically navigating the folders once you're in the app and you can see that there's some other ones here that are not user definable but it just tells you nonetheless how you can do things like creating a new folder deleting notes and so on and so forth next is uh, backups so you can see that you can actually set it to uh, do automatic backups and then it can see you can see here when it's going to make them and then where the backup location is and then next is data and you can do as I mentioned earlier iCloud synchronization to be able to sync between different iCloud devices so that is basically side notes and like I say if you want to use it for you know managing you can see here you've got quite a lot of space all the way down the side of your monitor you could have multiple different folders with all of your notes in similar that you can do with Apple's own notes uh, but they just kept here conveniently on the side and I know some people may uh, cringe at the idea of this but for me I just use it for the occasional uh, note snippets and things like that and so for that it is uh, certainly worth the money when you effectively get it free if you've already got set up and as I am a big uh, proponent of a set app then uh, it's something that I've got there and so this little niche use case for me uh, certainly scratches an itch for me and uh, so that is why I'm using it and that is why I'm recommending it to you. <laughs> if there are any other set up apps that you uh, use and find useful uh, then do let me know in the comments below and also don't forget to like and subscribe as always <laughs> and uh, if you found this useful then you may find some of these other apps that are available in setup useful as well so until the next video have a great day